Hey you. Ever since you've come into my life, you've made making content fun again. You are the preset to my raw file, the color grade to my C-log. And I just wanted you to know, no one is perfect. We all have our flaws and sometimes I overheat too. But that's not why I wanted to talk to you today. There is just one issue we should address. Okay, so that intro was very dramatic. I've never actually had this camera cut out and die on me when I've been using it. But I do find that I run into battery problems with this quite a bit. Now, before you run to the comment section and start furiously typing, the battery is fine. You're probably right, but everyone uses their camera differently. I use this for work, 50% video, 50% photography. So I expect a lot out of it in a short period of time. For example, on St. Patrick's morning, I was shooting at my work. I got about an hour out of one battery. So before I go any further, this is all based on my personal experience. How you use your Canon R6 and how the battery lasts for you might be a completely different story. So when you have battery issues with a Canon camera, you really have two options, okay? You can make all the power saving adjustments in camera, which I've already done. And there are plenty of other videos on YouTube showing you how to do exactly that. I've made all those adjustments and it still just falls flat for me. It still dies too soon. So my other option was to pick up this bad boy the Canon BGR10. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my quick review of what I think about this battery grip on the Canon R6. Let's take a closer look. First impressions, it's pretty bulky and it reminds me of the Canon EOS R grip, which I will get to in a second also. I'm gonna pop off these protective caps. And just like any Canon battery grip, it has this little drawer where you can pop in two of your Canon batteries. To place the battery in, you just put it in at an angle and it just clicks into place. And that click is actually quite satisfying. Let's have a listen. Nice. So once you got both of your batteries in a tray, you can slide it into the battery grip and then it's got this little fastening lock right here. Once that's insecured, let's go ahead and open up our Canon R6. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is pop off the camera door by pressing up this little lever and that comes right out like this. One of the cool things about these Canon battery grips is that it has this little shelf here for holding the camera battery door and that just snaps into place there. So now you can't lose it, pretty cool. So now that we have our camera battery door secured, we're gonna fit this onto our camera body. I'm gonna slot that in there. Next, you're gonna to wanna to use this lock feature to lock it into place and you can feel it tightening down and it's nice and secured and that's not gonna go anywhere right now. And just like with most camera battery grips, you have all these buttons and features that allows you to shoot in portrait mode. So you can turn your camera sideways and essentially use all these buttons to control your ISO and your autofocus and so on. My first impressions of this is that it is heavy, it is bulky, but it feels kind of good. You got that extra weight in your hands, obviously, because it's got two batteries in there, but it feels kind of good because if you can see my pinky, it's actually gripping on the camera battery grip quite comfortably. I do like that. I like the extra bit of weight in a camera body because it helps me get a nice steady shot. I'm not usually a glass half full kind of guy, but yeah, I do. I like that extra weight. That feels good. It feels like you're holding something premium. Now, something I noticed when this box arrived, I realized how small it was and I noticed that it didn't come with any cables or chargers. Hmm. So if you have the Canon EOS R, you will know what I'm talking about. Let me grab that battery grip real quick. This is the Canon. Whoa. Let me put this over here for a second. Uh. This is the BG E22. This is the battery grip for the Canon EOS R and it comes with this adapter so you can charge your battery grip just by plugging it in to like a USB-C port right here on the end. Let me show you. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that the battery grip for the R6 or R5 does not have the USB-C charging port. So that for me is the biggest con of this BGR10 because it is really, really handy to just leave your camera like this, throw a charger into it and know that it's charging so you don't have to take all the batteries out and do them individually. So that's a bit of a bummer. I did a deep dive on the Canon forums and there's a lot of people asking about this. Apparently Canon sell an extra cable that you can plug in to the R5 or R6 that allows you to charge everything in place. 
But honestly, I'm not crazy about leaving the camera plugged into the battery grip and charging it. I'd much rather be able to take it out and charge this natively. So I don't know if that's gonna be a deal breaker to a lot of people or not. If I hadn't known about that before I bought the BGR10, would it have made a difference? Probably not, but it's a bit of a bummer that I can't just plug this in and charge it. I gotta take all the batteries out and plug them in individually and charge them. So that just about sums up this quick review on the Canon BGR10 battery grip for the Canon R5 and R6. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Thank you.